Hello to everyone. Today we are going to discuss some important things about the pulse oximeter. As in today's life in we are living in a pandemic of COVID-19, the pulse oximeter is a very useful instrument to measure the our health status about the status of oxygen saturation. So what in this video we are going to discuss the some basic what we can get information from a pulse oximeter so this is a pulse oximeter i am having uh, a small device which is it's a clip on finger pulse oximeter it has a one button on the interface and this way it opens now i am going to insert my finger this way okay so and now when I will press the button, it will show me the readings. As you can see, a bar in the side of and a graph at the bottom and two time two readings. First is the SpO2. This is the oxygen saturation in blood and second is the heartbeat. So it currently was 98% oxygen saturation, which can be maximum ideally can be 100 percent but most of the times 98 to 99 percent 97 and the second reading is showing the heartbeat every heartbeat is represented by this graph this bar is representing the heartbeat heart activity and this is a, a tracing of the heart activity heartbeat activity so basically this one is oxygen saturation is SpO2 and this is the heartbeat these basic two things we can get from the pulse oximeter and and it is advised to use the pulse oximeter for at least one minute to get the accurate readings as sometimes it may fluctuate so it's important to get the proper reading for one minute this pulse oximeter have so I can show you there is a light you can see yeah this is the light blinking at the base which gives two wavelengths of light and after their reflection in the measurement of the oxygenated blood versus deoxygenated blood is calculated as oxygen saturation in the blood so this is the basic uh, short video about the pulse oximeter triple size 2 batteries